Welcome, everyone, to our exciting Bible quiz challenge on biblical numerology. We'll be diving deep into the fascinating world of numbers in the Bible. Did you know that numbers like 7, 12, and 40 have significant meanings in Scripture? Whether you're a seasoned Bible scholar or just curious about biblical numerology, this quiz is for you. Get ready to test your knowledge and maybe learn something new about the profound meanings behind these numbers. Don't forget to grab a pen and paper to keep track of your score, and be sure to like and share your results in the comments below. Question 1. What number is often associated with completeness in the Bible? A. 6 B. 7 C. 4 Key. 10 The answer is B. 7. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made. Genesis 2 verse 2 to 3. Question 2. Which number represents chaos or disorder in biblical numerology? A. 5 B. 9 C. 8 D. 6 The answer is D. 6. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Revelation 13 verse 18. Question 3. What number symbolizes divine perfection and the Trinity? A. 7. B. 5. C. 3. T. 12. The answer is C. 3. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28 verse 19. Question 4. How many times is the number 40 used in the Bible to signify a period of testing or trial? A. 50. P. 30. C. 40. T. 20. The answer is C. 40. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. Matthew 4 verse 2. Question 5. Which number is known for representing human weakness and sin? A. 1. B. 6. C. 9. D. 11. The answer is B. 6. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3 verse 23. Question 6. What number often symbolizes a generation or a complete period? A. 50. B. 100. C. 70. T. 20. The answer is C. 70. 70 weeks are determined for your people and for your holy city. To finish the transgression. To make an end of sins to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Daniel 9 verse 24, question 7. Which number is used to signify the completion of God's creation? A. 4. B. 7. C. 5. D. 3. The answer is B. 7. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. Genesis 2 verse 2 to 3. Question 8. What number is known for its association with divine order and law in the Bible? A. 5. B. 12. C. 9. D. 8. The answer is B. 12. Also she had a great and high wall with twelve gates, and twelve angels at the gates, and names written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Now the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Revelation 21 verse 12 to 14. Question 9. What number is often linked to the concept of resurrection and new life? A. 10 B. 8 C. 11 D. 
The answer is B, 8. He who is eight days old among you shall be circumcised. Every male child in your generations, he who is born in your house or bought with money from any foreigner who is not your descendant. Genesis 17 verse 12. Question 10. Which number symbolizes spiritual order and organization? A. 12. B. 3. C. 7. D. 10. The answer is A. 12. Also she had a great and high wall with twelve gates, and twelve angels at the gates, and names written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Now the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Revelation 21 verse 12 to 14. Question 11. What number is symbolic of the people of God in the Bible, represented by the tribes of Israel and the apostles? A. 14, P, 13, C, 10, T, 12. The answer is T, 12. Revelation 21 verse 12 to 14. Question 12. How many days and nights did Jesus fast in the wilderness? A, 7, B, 30, C, 40, D, 10. The answer is C, 40. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. Matthew 4 verse 2. Question 13. Which number is often associated with judgment and destruction? A, 5, B, 10, C, 6, D, 9. The answer is C, 6. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Revelation 13 verse 18. Question 14. What number is considered the number of grace in the Bible? A. 7. B. 5. C. 9. D. 4. The answer is B, 5. Then he took servings to them from before him. But Benjamin's serving was five times as much as any of theirs. So they drank and were merry with him. Genesis 43 verse 34. Question 15. Which number is symbolic of witness and testimony? A, 3, B, 5, C, 2, D, 1. The answer is C. 2. One witness shall not rise against a man concerning any iniquity or any sin that he commits. By the mouth of two or three witnesses the matter shall be established. Deuteronomy 19 verse 15. Question 16. What number represents the earth and the material world? A. 10. B. 6. C. 4. T. 12. The answer is C. 4. After these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. Revelation 7 verse 1. Question 17. How many apostles did Jesus have? A. 10. P. 12. C. 11. D. 9. The answer is B, 12. Now the names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew his brother. James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew the tax collector. James the son of Alphaeus, and Labias, whose surname was Cadius. Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. Matthew 10 verse 2 to 4. Question 18. What number is associated with the Antichrist in the book of Revelation? A. 444 B. 666 C. 888 D. 999 The answer is B. 666 Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. 
Revelation 13 verse 18. Question 19. What number is often associated with the concept of testimony and agreement? A. 2. B. 4. C. 3. D. 1. The answer is A. 2. One witness shall not rise against a man concerning any iniquity or any sin that he commits. By the mouth of two or three witnesses the matter shall be established. Deuteronomy 19.15, question 20. Which number symbolizes God's covenant and promise? A. 5, B, 10, C, 7, D, 8. The answer is C, 7, and God said, this is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you, and every living creature that is with you, for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Genesis 9 verse 12 to 13. Question 21. What number is often associated with trial and testing in the Bible? A. 10. B. 20. C. 30. T. 40. The answer is D, 40, and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. Matthew 4 verse 2. Question 22. How many days did the flood last in the story of Noah? A, 30, B, 20, C, 40, D, 50. The answer is C, 40, and the rain was on the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Genesis 7 verse 12, question 23. How many years of famine did Joseph predict would come upon Egypt and the surrounding lands? A, 7, B, 3, C, 12, D, 40. The answer is A, 7. It is just as I said to Pharaoh. God has shown Pharaoh what he is about to do. Seven years of great abundance are coming throughout the land of Egypt, but seven years of famine will follow them. Then all the abundance in Egypt will be forgotten, and the famine will ravage the land. Genesis 41 verse 25 to 40. Question 24. How many times did Jesus ask Peter if he loved him after his resurrection? A. 7. B. 3. C. 12. D. 40. The answer is B, 3. So when they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. John 21 verse 15 to 17. Question 25. How many lepers did Jesus heal on his way to Jerusalem? A, 3, B, 7, C, 12, D, 10. The answer is T, 10. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers, who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Luke 17 verse 12 to 19. Question 26. According to the book of Revelation, how many seals are there on the scroll that only the Lamb is worthy to open? A, 7, B, 3, C, 12, D, 10. The answer is A, 7, and I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. Revelation 5 verse 1 to 5, question 27. How many years did Solomon take to build the temple in Jerusalem? A, 7, B, 10, C, 12, D, 3. Question 28. How many pieces of silver did Judas receive for betraying Jesus? A. 7 B. 3rd C. 12 D. 3. Question 28. How many pieces of silver did Judas receive for betraying Jesus? A. 7 B. 30 C. 12 D. 3. The answer is B. 30. Then one of the twelve, called Judas Iscariot, 
went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him to you? And they counted out to him thirty pieces of silver. So from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. Matthew 26 verse 14 to 16. Question 29. How many days was Daniel in the lion's den? A. 40. P. 3. C. 12. D. 7. The answer is D. 7. So the king gave the command, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke, saying to Daniel, Your God, whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. Then a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signets of his lords, that the purpose concerning Daniel might not be changed. Daniel 6 verse 16 to 23 Question 30 How many years did the Israelites spend in Babylonian captivity? A. 12 B. 7 C. 7 D. T. 40 The answer is C. 7 D. And those who escaped from the sword he carried away to Babylon, where they became servants to him and his sons until the rule of the kingdom of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed her Sabbaths. As long as she lay desolate she kept Sabbath, to fulfill seventy years, 2 Chronicles 36 verse 20 to 21. And that wraps up our Bible quiz challenge on biblical numerology. How did you do? Did you uncover some new insights about the significance of numbers in scripture? Remember, every number in the Bible has a story to tell and a deeper meaning to explore. Whether you aced the quiz or learned something new, we're so glad you joined us today. If you enjoy this quiz, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging Bible content. We'd love to hear your scores and any thoughts you have, so be sure to leave a comment below. Also, Hit that notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming videos. Thank you for being part of our community and for your passion for learning more about the Bible. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and may God's wisdom always guide you. See you in our next video.